Hello, family. Thank you for coming over to the house tonight. And just kick off your shoes and relax your feet. Party on down to the SKB. We're kicking. Just kick it. Just kick it. Okay, you don't come to another episode where we're going to be asking the question of why you telling my business? Don't be telling my business. Hmm. Why not? Because a can can and a can can, a can can, a can can, and a wheel. Now we're off to. Hello, everyone, and thank you for coming back to the channel. And as you know, we're giving you updates on news, celebrity news that you can use. Right now, we're going to be talking about the sitcom show. P Valley. Well, according to lovebscott.com, they're getting a third and fourth season. We get into it. It says exclusive P Valley to be renewed for third and fourth season despite creators alleged unhappiness with stars. And stars is the network that it um basically is shown on. Okay, it says Star Stars hit series P Valley has yet to be officially renewed following the show's second season however sources connected to stars exclusively told b scott or love b scott that the show will be renewed for a third and fourth season it's unclear which cast members will return elerica johnson which is the um uh, the actress who played autumn night won't be returning we knew that already before the season ended as for what's delaying the renewal, our sources say there was some behind-the-scenes issues that made show creator and executive producer Katori Hall reluctant to sign on for more. Allegedly, stars didn't treat the show as well as some of their other big titles, namely 50 Cent's Power spinoff and despite P. Valley's record-breaking ratings and critical acclaim. Katori and Stars have seemingly worked it all out and the show will be back for two more seasons. We expect the official announcement in the coming days. Okay, so what y'all think about that? P Valley is showing up and showing out on our TV screen. Once again, we know um Kator, not Katori, uh Alerica, which is Autumn, is not going to be back for the full third and fourth season. And that is a shame because she really played her part. When she was uh, in the show and what she was trying to do within the show uh, as her character was portraying. We love it. We love it. Love it. Uh, I'm hoping that uh, it wasn't a dream of, um, what's his name, uh, Uncle Clifford and uh, Little Murder. Um, you know, the whole scene they had where um, Little Murder had came out and this uh professor's love for uh uncle clifford and you know she didn't want to be or he didn't want to be seen in the shadows of you know the world of how they treat gay and lesbian uh men and women and he just didn't want to lock the murder up in it but the murder was showing out and showing up like most uh entertainers should be doing in the rap game or in the r&b game whatever if you that's your sexuality is uh being gay or lesbian then that's your sexuality don't try to hide it and don't try to be on the down low because that's what get people in trouble is when they get on the down low saying they ain't this that and the third but in the sheets and the uh behind the scenes in the dark they showing up like they the same sex uh want to be having uh, relations with okay so it was a twist because i haven't seen much of tv shows having it play like stars have been letting the whole uh gay scenes play out on tv where it's kissing it's having sex you know all that good uh i wouldn't say good stuff because a lot of people don't get up get into that these days uh or, or forever will but um it's just nice to see that they are out there they're doing their thing and they're letting you know even though it's fictitious storylines going on but you have to think in reality that this is happening in the gay and lesbian world they're showing how they get down with love making and how they profess their love in public and you know the comments and goings but like i said you got to respect somebody that's actually living their true self as who they are 
and, and not some fictitious uh, storyline or person they're trying to make you see on the outside. But you know good and got the own way on the inside they gay as hell, you know, and most of the time they saying a lot of rappers are, they try to act like they hard, or they may truly be hard, but their sexual pleasures are the same sex, um, man that they are, I guess I said that right, right, okay, but, um, it's, it was a good show, minus the sexual content that they showed us, the stuff is real, it's happening out there real, they're showing the life of these women who uh, are strip uh, ladies, strip club ladies uh, of the night. And some of them do get down with, you know, some type of prostitution. You know what I'm saying? You pay for play, in a sense. But, uh, yeah, that's, that's that's something wild. And I'm, I'm ready to see him again, okay? Because he was looking all kind of fine. But when they sucker punched him, Minnie Diamond, and threw him in that car and Big Bone and... I guess the gang that was holding down, I don't forgot what the man name was, okay, that was chasing Autumn back uh, from where she had left, had left, excuse me, that particular city that she came from and she tried to start a new life without him. And I'm still trying to figure out, was he just her girl or was he married to her? But I think he was just a part of her, his team and he trusted a little bit too much and when she did what she did, which is vanishing from the hometown that they were from and trying to start a new in Mississippi, he caught up with her behind. And he wasn't trying to let nobody live in that situation, but it ended up that he didn't live due to the fact of what uh, Diamond had constructed for his behind and Clifford was on the team as well. So it's a lot of dead bodies buried in Mississippi that only that group of people know about and we'll keep it a secret to the day they die okay so that's how they roll but uh i'm looking to see Ru roulette again because i just don't see how she can punk a man out like that i mean the man she had uh set up for whisper i think that's her name uh, to have sex with him so she can get some extra money for some things and he can get some pleasure because he wanted to do Whisper. But then when Buddy was trying to renege on what he said he was going to pay Whisper for sleeping with her, you know, uh, Roulette had to come in there and uh, regulate. And, you know, she was doing all kinds of things that men would do to women, you know what I'm saying, to get them back in line to get them straight and let them know who's the boss. And uh, she just punked him out real bad. And I just can't believe that he just went, uh, home with his tail between his legs and we're hoping that it never came out how Roulette punked him. So I'm waiting to see that materialize to see where that man actually come back uh, and check Roulette or how she treated him by putting a gun in his mouth and really giving him the impression that she would pull the trigger. But yeah, that's another uh, story that, I, that was left. And on a cliffhanger type stance. And I really wanted to see that play out. Then we got this uh, storyline with um, uh, Keyshawn going to jail uh, for abusing her children and stuff. Which is really what's, what's supposed to have been happening to her so-called white husband. And I can't remember his name to save my life. But uh, yeah, she's looking at spending some years behind bars. And she was thinking Diamond was going to help her out of this situation. But he got caught up with some other shit. And they kidnapped his ass. And I don't know what's going to happen with uh, him. I forgot his name too. Uh, but it'll come back It'll come back to me as things get progressing on and viewing the new season. I will know what his name is. But I don't know how he's going to play that. Because his, like, his wife was against him. Uh, uh, having sex with her ex or uh, who they both said that she should have married but she ended up with his behind and um i don't know it's just gonna be another season i'm sure with a lot of vulnerability a lot of drama pack action and a lot of just old mississippi doing their thing okay but that's all i got for this particular video guys and y'all look uh to knowing and updating when they are going to actually come back if i get the update you know i'll bring it to you but for all the people that love P Valley, they did get highlighted for a third and fourth season. Still on the same network, which is Stars. Okay? 
And if you want to get in the comments and tell me what you felt about it and what you're excited to see uh, when the show comes back on, or you're not excited and you wish this shit just go away, I like to hear those comments as well. Okay? Um, but that's all I got. I ain't got no more. And I'll see y'all on the next video. Thank you. Bye-bye.